Today, Senator Joe Manchin is set to attend a town hall in New Hampshire hosted by the group No Labels, fueling speculation of a potential third-party run. Now, no Labels is actively considering running a third-party candidate in the 2024 presidential race and pushing for a unity ticket featuring one Democrat and one Republican. Now, Manchin told Manu last week, as he does just about every week, about whatever the topic is, and Manu, <laughs> that the event is not about running for president, but wouldn't rule it out either. For more on this, let's bring in CNN senior data reporter Harry Anton with this morning's number. Harry, the number. Yeah, so, you know, if you want to talk about how much, why there's all this talk about a third party potentially getting traction versus four years ago, take a look at this morning's number, all right? It's 21%. Why this 21%? Because voters who dislike both Biden and Trump, it's 21% of the electorate. Compare that to 3% who felt that way on Election Day 2020. This 21% is more than the percentage of voters who dislike both Trump and Clinton on the heels of the 2016 election. So this is a large chunk of voters, and that is fueling all this talk about a third-party bid. So, Harry, who would win the voters who not like neither Biden nor Trump uh, if they faced each other in a general election matchup. Yeah, so take a look. This sort of gives you an understanding how those voters who don't like Biden or Trump say they'll vote in 2024. Look, it's close, but those voters are favoring Joe Biden by a 41% to 34% margin. And I think that is part of the reason why you're seeing all these Democrats perhaps be worried, because they know this is a chunk of voters that Joe Biden needs to win. And if they like Biden more than Trump, and all of a sudden you introduce a third-party candidate, maybe things might end up a little bit differently. You know, to that point, what if Joe Manchin or Cornell West uh, ends up on the ballot as a third party candidate come November? Yeah, so here's the big reveal right at the end of the segment. All right, Biden versus Trump in 2024. If there's no third party, look at this Biden by a point. The effect of a third party, potential third party candidate, is small, but it is enough to flip it. And now, if a third party candidate is included, Look at that, Trump by one point. So Democrats are the ones who don't want a third party candidate. And this is the polling, this is the data that they're looking at, guys. Manu, can you, that was a great big reveal, Harry. Uh, Thank you. you. You backed it up uh, with actual details. <laughs> uh, explain Manchin to people, not broadly, that, that would take a while, but like yeah. on this issue specifically, you have a better read and talk to him more than maybe anybody I know. What, what's the genesis here of this and, town hall? And why does he keep flirting with this yeah, idea. I, it's not clear he is actually all that interested in running for president. He likes his name being out there. He likes being discussed. He wants to be in the center of this discussion. And he legitimately has concerns the way the two parties are running things in Washington and the fact that there's really not much effort to try to come to the middle. So that's been his whole political mantra. And if it if flirting with the presidential bid allows folks to pay attention to that, that's great. But the second he rules that out, or the second he says, I am not going to run for re-election in the very critical state of West Virginia, if he doesn't run for re-election in the Senate, that suite's almost certainly going to flip to the Republicans. People will stop paying attention to him. People will stop cutting deals with, trying to cut deals with them and try to achieve his own political objectives. So there is a real reason for Manchin to be doing this to get the attention he wants. Now, will he eventually run for the president? I tend to doubt it. but. He hasn't rolled it out. So you have to at least consider that that remains a possibility and one that Democrats, frankly, are very concerned about. And if he does run for re-election, it doesn't hurt him to be seen as sticking it to uh, the current president, who is a Democrat, uh, doesn't poll that well Just over there Labor in nominee. West Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Harry, Manu, thank you both very much. Thanks, guys.